Today I'm going to go through five essential Mac utilities. Let's get right into it. The first one is going to be Bartender. And if you haven't heard about Bartender, it cleans up the Apple uh, menu bar in Mac OS up at the top. And you can set it to uh, either hide or show whatever different icons you want. I have mine set up so um, when I come up and click in the upper right hand corner, it shows all the icons that I want hidden. You can also set it up so if you do this and you hover for, you for a few seconds, it will automatically show everything that is hidden. Now, to me, this is an, an essential uh, utility because if you have a Mac, you know how clustered the uh, menu bar can be, just full of stuff that you may or may not use on a daily basis. So I keep a few things up here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the uh, display button, and control center are visible all the time for me. The rest of the stuff remains hidden that I probably don't even need to be in the menu bar because I rarely use it anyways. Now, one of the hidden things in the menu bar is my second essential utility, and that is Clean My Mac. Now, I really liked the interface of Clean My Mac X better. I understood it a little bit better. Uh, the newer interface is fine, but to me it feels like it's missing some of the old features. I don't think that's actually the case, but that's how it feels to me. It, I think they tried to dumb it down and make it a little bit more simple. It was already a simple app to use. Now, the killer feature here with Clean My Mac, I think, is called Space Lens, and that lets you dive into your different hard drives that are attached to your computer or your main hard drive that's in your computer and figure out what is taking up all of your space, and then you can easily delete it. The other thing that I think is really cool about Clean My Mac is it's helpful to clean up old applications that you've long ago uninstalled. So some files can linger around even if you uh, are going into Finder and the applications and moving it to the trash. There can still be files and folders left behind. Clean My Mac finds all of those and gets rid of them. One annoyance I found from the newest version of Clean My Mac is the RAM notifications. I just had to turn them off because it's like... Final Cut Pro is using four gigabytes of RAM. You know, Safari is using three gigabytes of RAM. Okay, this thing has 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm using an M2 uh, Mac Studio. It's got plenty of memory, so a few applications using half of the RAM really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, I had to turn those off. I, I don't mess with really the um, RAM management or try to clear up RAM through Clean My Mac. I let the Mac itself handle that. Next on my list is a classic must-have application called Magnet. Now, Apple has kind of added window, tiled window support um, in the latest version of Mac OS. I, don't, I can't say I've actually used it. I like Magnet and the keyboard shortcuts are now ingrained into my head from Magnet. And I like that you can set keyboard shortcuts to whatever you do most often. So if you wanna have split screen left and right like I do, it's uh, control option and the left or right arrow will send the window to whatever side of the screen that you want. You can make windows you know, a third and have something the other two thirds. You can stack them top to bottom and you know, pick your poison, whatever you want your keyboard shortcut to be, you can set that in the application. Next up for me is Raycast. I started using Raycast late last year and I haven't even really scratched the surface of what it's capable of. Now, Raycast is kind of like a spotlight search replacement, but if you think about it like that, that's you know dumbing it down way too far. So the power of Raycast goes a lot deeper than spotlight search. Uh, and my favorite use for it so far is I, create up, uh, I created a keyboard shortcut for switching the output device on my computer. So if I'm editing video, sometimes I like the audio from the studio display. Oftentimes I wanna listen through it on my um, headphones, studio monitors as well. And it is kind of a pain to have to go up to control center and switch your audio device and click the one you want. So I can pull up Raycast with a hotkey, type in SOD, switch output device, and then quickly select with the keyboard the uh, headphones with which go through my Focusrite audio interface. So I love that about it. I want to use it more. I'm starting to get into launching some of my Apple shortcuts, of which I now have many. 
launching them through Raycast. I'm going to set up some keyboard shortcuts here this year for those. And um, overall, I think you can just save a lot of time with Raycast. It is going to take a little bit of time to learn it and set it up the way that you want it to be. But the functionality is there and it's a great application. Last but not least is Backblaze. Now we couldn't talk about having a Mac computer or really any computer for that matter without backing it up. Back up your stuff, people. Now Backblaze is a monthly subscription service that backs up your computer and all external hard drives that are mounted to the computer. Gives you a monthly report of everything that you have backed up. Apparently I've got almost three terabytes worth of crap in the cloud now. And it's not like iCloud Drive or OneDrive where, you know, it's not like a cloud service where you're sending and retrieving files from it all the time. This is more of a send. And if your computer crashes or, you know, whatever, you spill a coffee on it, you have the ability to then re-download all of your stuff onto a new computer. I think it's about 10 bucks a month. I also use Backblaze um, to back up my uh, NAS drive via cloud storage. Uh, that is significantly more expensive. It's technically a business application, like B2B type service, but as a regular consumer, you can go on there and pay the money. I think something like uh, Amazon Deep Glacial Archive might be better for me because I'm not accessing those files all the time. And really, I am periodically going in and um, backing up my photos, videos, and other files to the NAS. I'm not constantly retrieving stuff. I don't edit videos or photos off of that drive anyway. So it's purely backup. For their main computer backup service, I find it to be very inexpensive compared to the other competitors out there. And it doesn't take very long to upload all your files anyways, depending on your internet connection. And then the utility runs in the background on your computer. As files are updated, it updates them in your backup. And Backblaze has a lot of great information on their website about backups, the philosophy, you know, what type of backup you should have, a 3 2 one backup strategy. Um, they definitely recommend using Time Machine. So they're not just saying, yeah, use our product. You know, they have a lot of information out there um, to give you the knowledge that you might need to set up a proper backup for your computer and your files to help make sure you don't lose anything in an unforeseen event. That about wraps up my top five essential Mac utilities. If you want to see more like this, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and until next time, later. <laughs>